It's better than the original. See you in jail, Let me tell you. you might have heard the claim that the firstborn leaves DNA behind and all younger siblings are just copies. The real science is actually far more interesting. During every pregnancy, tiny numbers of fetal cells cross the placenta and enter the mother's bloodstream. These cells can travel throughout the body and settle in places like the thyroid, liver, skin, and even bone marrow, where some may persist for decades. This phenomenon is called fetal maternal microchimerism. What's remarkable is that some of these fetal cells can behave like stem cell-like cells, meaning they can differentiate into tissue-specific cells and may play roles in tissue repair, inflammation, and immune regulation. But here's a key clarification. This does not happen only with the firstborn. It occurs with every pregnancy and in fact, later pregnancies often leave more detectable fetal cells than earlier ones. And while these cells are real, their numbers are extremely small. They don't rewrite a mother's DNA, change her personality, or make future children copies of one another. Instead, they represent a tiny but lasting biological footprint of pregnancy. It's a powerful reminder that the connection between parent and child isn't just emotional, it's biological in ways we're still learning about. How does this change the way you think about the bond between parents and their children? Let me know your thoughts in the comments and follow them for your health IQ.